there is no place like Rome. Hello my friends, today we are in the heart of Rome, near the Colosseum, near the Forum, and uh, we are in an area plenty of ancient and medieval ruins. With some exaggeration, we may say that from here on, during the Middle Age, begin no man's land. All around it was dangerous, bandits, prostitution, squatters. Because nothing was safe, the Pope, who needed to walk in procession on the Wilson John in Lateran, decided to build a permanent watching tower, which was a kind of military police station. The tower was one of the highest in Rome. What we see today, it's only one third of the entire height. The tower was given to the Conti of Segni forever, and it still has the same name, Torre dei Conti. If we turn around, we can appreciate how still very powerful and strong. We always forget that during the Middle Age, the city had many towers, and like many others in Italy, its skyline was giving an impression of a vertical city. The height has been reduced since an earthquake in 1348, and several other damages occurred in the 1600s. For its unique aspect, was admired and mentioned even by Petrarch. The Torre dei Conti was controlling not only the way towards St. John, but also this area that is called the Rione, or quarter, Monti. Monti, hills or mountains? The name Monti is because it's built on a little slope. As soon as we proceed, you may see that the street is slowly going up. This place, as many sites of Rome, is plenty of stratigraphic memory, and it is still divided in two parts as in the antiquity. The division between the monumental area of the Imperial Fora and the suburban area by the Romans called Suburra. It's still possible to appreciate when we look at this large wall built with volcanic stone that works like a gigantic barrier for separate a luxurious complex of imperial construction from the quarter occupied by the lumpen proletariat of the plebeian classes. A rumorous area and troublesome class in an overpopulated area with a high density of people where the burning of houses was very frequent, mostly built on wood. The purpose of the wall at the end was the, I mean, at the end was to prevent burning inside the monumental area. The contrast is still very apparent. Look over the wall under this arch. Even if in ruins and fragments, you may notice the presence of columns, steps, pavements, all in splendid white marble. On the other side, separated by a street, where now are standing palaces and houses, mostly of 17 and 1800, there are precarious condominiums and poor houses. The presence of a street between the wall and the suburra is still today used by firemen for cutting the fire. But after the antiquity, this ingenious idea was lost and people begin to complete the gap with other construction. More ahead on the wall, we see traces left by the frescoes that were decorated in a church and fixed on the stones the door of the lost church of Santissima Annunziata, or Holy Annunciation, with an iconography very rare in which the Madonna is represented on the left side and the angel on the right. The level of the original street is passing under our feet. We are exactly under the Arco dei Pantani, the arch of Madi or Merci Place called in this way because in the Middle Age, during the riots that provoked several victims, the local sewer was destroyed and never rebuilt. The damage of this spot of underground water was so bad that the large area around became a permanent stinking pond, so much that around this place became common malaria. 